In this video, we'll be finding the derivative by the limit process. Our problem that we're working on is to find the derivative of f of x equal x squared plus 5x minus 7 by the limit process. Now recall that the definition of the derivative of f, f prime of x, is the limit as delta x approaches 0 of f of x plus delta x minus f of x, all divided by delta x. So first, let's find f of x plus delta x. Now this means that we'll be putting x plus delta x into our function every place where we see an x. So we have that expression squared plus 5 times that expression minus 7. So this is x plus delta x and x plus delta x. I'm going to simplify this first before I continue with this problem. Um, when we square x plus delta x, we get x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared. And then distribute our 5 plus 5x and then plus 5 delta x and then minus 7. Doesn't look like anything's going to um, simplify or combine. So let's go ahead and do this now. Uh, we want f prime of x equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0. And I'm going to have a really long numerator here. This expression is just this first part, this first term of the numerator. And then I'm going to subtract f of x. So let me copy all of this, x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 5x plus 5 delta x minus 7. And then I need to subtract from that this function. So x squared plus 5x minus 7. And then in the denominator, I have a delta x. Let me distribute this negative sign through the trinomial. Copying. All right, then a negative x squared and a negative 5x and a positive 7. And that's divided by delta x. All right, now we need to look for things that cancel off. Um, I see a positive 7 here and a negative 7. So those cancel. I have a negative 5x and a positive 5x. Those cancel. And I have a negative x squared and a positive x squared, so those cancel. So then I'm doing the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 2x delta x plus delta x squared plus 5 delta x. all divided by delta x. So now I can see that I have a delta x in all three of the terms in the numerator. So I can factor that out and cancel it with the delta x that's in the denominator. And this will leave me with the limit as delta x approaches 0 of, and this delta x is gone, so 2x. One of these delta x factors is gone, so plus delta x. 
and this delta x is gone, so plus 5. Now when I take the limit as delta x approaches 0, this term is 0, and so I get f prime is equal to 2x plus 5. Do another one. So on this one, we're asked to find the derivative of g of x equals negative 5 by the limit process. Now, since we have to do the limit process, we'll not think about this. But after I'm done, I want to talk to you a minute about what this means when we find the derivative. Um, this g of x equal negative 5 can be written as g of x equals 0x minus 5. Since we're replacing x with x plus delta x, we'll need a x in our function. So then by the definition, g prime of x will be the limit as delta x approaches 0 of g of x plus delta x minus g of x divided by delta x. And now we're going to sub in, um, let's find g of x plus delta x. We're going to sub in x plus delta x into our function in place of x. So this is equal to 0 times x plus delta x. And now my uh, derivative, g prime of x, is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 0 times x plus delta x minus 5, and then subtract from that g of x, which is 0x minus 5. And then we're dividing by delta x. Now I can do some uh, simplifying here. Um, in this case, I'm not going to look to cancel off my delta x's because um, it looks like I'm going to get 0 in the numerator. Let's see if I do. I get g of x is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0. Uh, let's see, 0 times this quantity is 0. So I just have negative 5. And then this negative is going to come in here and make this a positive 5. And this is 0 is gone, so plus 5 over delta x. So negative 5 plus 5, um, I'm finding the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 0 divided by delta x. So this fraction now is equal to 0. So I'm actually finding the limit as delta x approaches 0 of 0, and the limit of a constant is just 0. Now, had we not been asked to solve this using the limit process, I can think of this, uh, remember, uh, a function equal a constant um, is a horizontal line through that number. So this is actually a horizontal line through negative 5. And we know that derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So the slope of this horizontal line is 0. So it would make sense that my limit process would yield uh, a 0.